Hey guys, my name is David. I'm from This Game on CF, and I'm gonna be talking about the July 8th game update for Warface. So the first thing you can see here is that um, the login bonuses have been updated. So for the first day, you can be getting a utility knife. The second day, you're gonna be getting an R4A1 US set. So there's a special camo on there. Third day, you're gonna be getting a TWM basic. Fourth day, you get the <clears throat> Viper basic. Fifth day, you get a FY9 basic. And these five are for eight hours. Day six, you get an MD9 US set that has a camera as well. Um, I do apologize for saying the in-game names, not the actual names, but for some reason I don't know what they are and I don't want to try to guess. So this lasts for 5 days, and then the last one would be an extra strong vest, which lasts for 7 days. Now, I think this is really awesome that they're doing this. It'll keep resetting, which means that all you have to do to get free guns is just log in and play. And that's really good because in this game, buying guns are very expensive, and you'll see I'm going to do something very crazy later on. Which I'm sure you're all gonna question. Okay, so um I'm just gonna equip that and I'll use that later to make a video. So this is gonna be my first official video about Warface, but that does not mean I haven't been playing it for a while. I played the Russian beta for a very long time with some friends. And I was in a closed beta, and if I remember correctly, they reset everything in closed beta. So, right now, I'm just currently... I'm just showing you. Oh, I'm sorry, statistics. So, I'm currently a private, or three golden chevrons or triangles, which is a lot... It takes a while to get to that rank. It's higher than most people. So, yeah. So, um, I'll talk about the last, kind of, the June patch as well, because that was <coughs> very, it's a very cool patch. So, first thing we can do is just go to the shop. Now, I'll just go into each of the classes and show this off, but, um, they put in the Carcom Brazilian World Cup. All these guns are 20k... Um, in-game cash for seven days or two or 200 credits for seven days the um, medic one would be the FAS 12 the engineer one is a GU one and the um, sniper one is the TWM now these guns all look pretty, actually there's a few more. Um, there's the Eagle Eye which looks really nice. Um, smoke Grenade I believe as well. World Cup Smoke Grenade. Yeah this makes a very cool, if I, I can't quite remember the colors, I believe it's blue, yellow and green that it smokes but I'm not quite so sure but um yeah that's pretty cool now also you could get these items in boxes so it's not just the Brazilian stuff but all of these per class include the Brazilian version of a weapon and the smoke grenade but also for the medic one yeah let me start with this actually no I'll just do it the first one so for the medic one, you could also get the PEG bullpup. So only the PEG and the FAS-12, you would be able to win permanently. Everything else is timed, which would be the Viper Basic, the Richmond 770 US set, Flashbang, Firewar Grenade, Superior Mercs Armor, <clears throat> and Respawn Coins. For the Rifleman, you could also get the CCR. Um, permanent along with the Karkum permanent and also you could get the FYLMG, the R4A1 US set, Cry War Grenade, Flashbang, 
armor and coins timed. Um, for the engineer set, you could get the Karkum submachine gun. Wow, this three variants of this gun. Um, the Karkum submachine gun and G1 permanent, and you could also get FY9 basic and R4 CQB USN. These are all the same as well. And for the sniper world cap, you could get the TWM Brazil um, or the R107, which is the Barrett. Perm and then you could also get the normal TWM and R16 SPR custom US set timed. For the pistol box, you could get the Eagle Eye Brazilian World Cup and the Eagle Eye Permanent. Get the S18G Platinum and the MD9 US set timed, along with the other things. Um. I don't really want to know if I want to run for everything. I might as well because this is my first video of the game. And if it interests people. So for the crowned medic, eh, I'll go in the shop. There are certain items which cost crowns. You get crowns by being fast enough to do certain things that co-op. I'll go show you. Um, I haven't currently completed any of the ones since they reset. But um, you get, if you do the missions within a certain amount of time you'll get some crowns if you get a good enough score you'll get more crowns I already have some it's gonna take a hell of a lot of time to get some of these and it's best to use them on a box so I'm gonna show you also to you need these access coins to access tower raid so for the crowned medic um, you could get the Richmond Nova Tactical Crown Vest and PHS 12 Crown. Actually, I'm not sure if you could get these perm. The Crown Gear, and then you can also get Striker Basic Jungle and Richmond 770. I I don't quite know which ones are perm. All I can guarantee you is that it's gonna be the Crown version and the normal version, which you get perm. So. That'd be the E X A R H, and then you have the gear, and the Z X eighty four K jungle F Y one hundred three basic and R forty one U S set. Engineer, it's for the M T nineteen and the G U one crown, and then you could also get the M M twenty eight jungle F Y nine basic R four C Q B U S set. For the sniper, you could get the B T fifty. Oh shit. Fuck, I don't know why I always thought that was a Barrett. That's a AS50. That's what that is. And a crown version of it. And then you could also get the SVK Shiny Metal TWM Basic and R16 SBR Custom US set. Then you have these random boxes where you could get. I don't know which of these you can get perm, but the SHG M1217, that's a jackhammer, right? No, that's the same gun, that's an M1216, I'm sorry, M1216 shotgun, then striker, basic striker jungle, the Richard 770 USN, rifleman, you can get the LMG 240 permanent, I'm sure of that, and then maybe the ZX84K Jungle FY103 Basic R4A1 USA. Now I'm, I'm going to point this out now before I continue, but these guns, the permanent ones, aren't in the shop, so it's really cool if you can win them, but this is with crowns, the credits, I'm sorry, to get these boxes. For the engineer, you can get the CH9mm, which is the... Oh, why am I not recognizing that gun? I believe that's some kind of QBZ variant. I, I'm not sure. Um, and you could also get the MM28 Jungo F19 Basic and R4 CQB USM. Last box, you get the Q88. Um, that's just Type 88. Along with the SVK Shiny Metal, TWM Basic, and R16 SBR Custom USM. For the pistol random box, you get the 
about a 266 millimeter. I want the M D9 US at STCC shiny metal. I don't think we have that in the game. I'll go check after. And then the Glock Platinum. I'm just checking if we have it. No, I don't see it. Also, um, these US sets were added as well, so, um, here's our 4A1. Actually, I might as well, I'm essentially doing a game show off as well right now, so, here's the GU2, or K2, the Scar H Crown version, Brazilian World Cup, um, Tower 21, this could be the RP, K, I believe. G36. Tar 21. Uh, Calico Assault Rifle variant. Um, this is the AUG A3. This would just be the AK103. FMAS. Uh, QBZ. 95 I believe that's it really looks like it here's the K3 machine gun I would guess I mean I'm not sure what it's actually called here's the MG 36 LMG this is a M240 Bravo I believe or something like that LMG 4 yeah there's no real good name to tell from there this is the heavy barrel variant of the AUG A3. And this is the MG42. Okay. For Medic, here's the US set Remington Viper Basic. I believe this is supposed to be a Sega. Actually, no, that was a. I'm not sure. One of them is supposed to be a Sega 12. There's a Spaz 12. There's the PEG. No, yeah, that's definitely not a Sega, so that probably is. There's the Spaz 12 Crown. The Brazilian AA 12. No clue what this is, but this is so sexy. It's like a revolver. It's a shotgun which has a cylinder. Here's the Kite Pump. Or the, it was called the Hawk Pump in the Russian version. I don't know what the actual model for that is. This is the 870 CQB. Um, Striker. This is the Pile Driver. That's the Pancor Jackhammer. This Viper. Oh, shit. Oh, wait. Viper and Viper Basic. Yeah, that makes sense. So it's both with big Segas. And then this is the... Uh, KSG shotgun. So for engineer, you have your AKS-74U, your M4 CQB uh, variant with the US set camo. Here's a normal one. This is just a G36C without a stock. This is a K1A crown version. K1A Brazil version, normal K1A. This is the normal AKS 74U. Basic set is just the credit, the real money version. Here's the AUG with a nine millimeter conversion uh, for the back for the magazine. Yeah. Here's the MP7. Um, I wish I get what choosies, which, this is the, it's not the Mac, okay, is it, it's one of the Uzis, I don't know which one, I wish I had trouble recognizing which one, here's a Chris Super V, this is a, that's a sawed off XM8 with no stock, and then this is the P90, and the, I would 
gas sig 552 commando and sniper now most sniper rifles are semi so and if you use uh, sniper rifles in co-op you're a dick he's not happening team so here's a TWM or the arm um, basic there's the M16 SPR US set normal AS50 crown version World Cup um this is an XM8 sniper rifle um SL8 or the sniper there's an a uh, sniper version of G36 that's what this is this is an ACR sniper rifle Everest I would put my money on TPG1 and the only game I know that from is APA so it's very cool to see it somewhere else I mean, obviously there's more, but like, that I've played. Here's the SIG 5... SIG 550 sniper version. Yep. VSS. Alright, wait a second. VSS, AS, file. I don't know the difference between those two. Really. Last I checked of No, that looks like an AS file. I may be wrong though. Here's the Shake Tech M two hundred. And here is the normal arm. In the second area we have the M nine with the US camel. It's gonna be hard to show you guys this. Here's the platinum Glock eighteen, which I assume has full Where's the rate of fire? Yeah, I'm assuming it's fully automatic. Here's the K5 Desert Eagle Crown version, Desert Eagle Brazil. Uh, oh shit. I don't know what that is. Sorry. This is a USB. This is an M9. M92FS. So many M9 looking tags. Here's the um, Calico, the regular, the standard um, close quarter combat variant. This can be used as a secondary, that's why it costs so damn much. And here is the M93 Rafika. Now, remember I said I'd do something crazy? Well, it's about to happen. Here's a utility knife, Ultramarine. Blackhawk and katana. Now it's time to do something crazy. This katana is going to be in the shop for two weeks. Now, I have no real need to buy any other weapons. I haven't spent any money, in game money, since I started this game. I have no need to spend it on weapons because you constantly have to pay for repair costs and all, and eventually I'll do it. But this is going to be a limited time weapon, and thank God it's making a return. So I'm going to go ahead and buy it. Look how much money I have left. 136. I have nothing, but now I have a samurai sword. Awesome. Here's a classic Soviet knife. The army machete. Um, and the shovel. Grenades. You have your smoke grenade. Uh, there's no point in showing them. This is a claymore. I'm not sure why that's under grenades. Maybe I have to be under engineering. No. So it's just normal smoke flash. This is an additional grenade. Additional smoke grenade. And. Okay. So. Here's just going to show off some of the masks. Here are the intimidation helmets. Those look. Really cool, actually, better than stupid faces everyone has. Weird engineer helmet. Cr what the fuck is that? Tactical engineer helmet and the saber helmet. Here you have your advanced. This is your gilly top. Crown hood. Oh goodness, it's a ghost recon online or phantoms all over again. Here's your tactical hood, and then your sapper 
spinals. Yeah. For medic, you have your um, yeah, you have your advanced medic helmet, crown helmet. Ooh, that looks nice. No, that looks stupid. Tactical medic helmet and the sapper helmet. Rifleman, you have your advanced rifleman helmet, crown. Hel oh no way! Sweet. That's a tactical and that's a sapper. Okay, I'm assuming these vests are all the same across different. Yeah, so you just have your crown vest, medic, anti melee, anti explosive, corundum, extra strong, scout, and tie two. And then I'll just show the special rifleman here. There's no special sniper. Anti sniper. I don't, I don't know. And then for the sniper, there's the special sniper vest. Did I miss one for engineer? Special. I don't know. For gloves, you have your normal gloves, crown gloves. Melee, carbon, fiber, and combat, those just help with certain things. Then boots. Oof, sweet. Sneakers. Crown boots. White boots. Stuff that doesn't make any noise when you run. And stuff that helps you slide more. Yeah, okay, I've already gone through all these. Skins are just, as I'll show them. Superior engineer armor. Superior medic armor. Superior sniper armor. Superior so okay, yeah, I was switching to classes, I was getting confused for a second. But anyways, I've almost pretty much shown off the entire game at this point. You start with an M4A1, a Browning high powered pistol. Not a katana, you start with an execute knife, but I get this because I'm crazy. You start with an ammo pack. This is a default grenade, although this is something you can earn through, for me, it was a login. You start with the Richmond 770. Uh, 870, I believe it, that's what it's supposed to be. And a defibrillator med kit to give out health. If an engineer you start off with a MP5 with a folded stock. You have a armor kit which means you just you can repair your armor and your teammates armor and you start with a goddamn claymore. I wish this wasn't a game because it's so annoying, especially on free for all. Okay, for sniper, you do not start off with an arm basic, you start off with a SVD and nothing else for sniper. Okay, let me go into progress because this is where the interesting stuff actually is. So here we have our daily missions. Now usually you pay, it's kind of a gambling, you put some money in and you can get more back. Although I only suggest doing this co-op ones, or no I mean they're easy PV E1, so no, I'm not going to suggest anything, it's just that the amount of time I have, I don't really play this all that often. Okay, vendors. This is where it gets important. So, when I'm in a game lobby and I'm just going to join one just to show you what happens. I'm not going to start anything. Okay, you see how you can choose one of three things? Weapons, outfit, and equipment. Let me just quickly go through what you should choose. For weapons, you can unlock it, but when you unlock your weapon... Um, let me see. I unlocked... Let me see if there's something I actually unlocked in here. Spaz 12, I'm assuming. No, 3500 price tag. Probably PEG, I unlocked this. 
When you unlock a gun, you still have to buy it. After you buy it, as I've shown you with my katana, my melee item, you have to repair it. It costs a lot of money to repair. In fact, it's the same exact thing with armor. You unlock armor, but then you have to buy the armor and constantly repair it. And I'm not willing to pay that much money for armor. No way. So, the thing you should go for is equipment. These are your attachments. These can... You will unlock them automatically and actually have them. Be able to put them on the very next game. And these do not have repair costs. So, in my opinion, you better unlock all your equipment first. Then do what you want. But, that's just my opinion. Okay, let me leave here. Okay, back to the progress. Just to show you all the weapons you can unlock. Quickly. So, so here are your... This is for your all for all of your classes. Rifleman, Medic, Engineer, and s Sniper. Um, here are your common items, meaning you will... What? Oh, no, no, yeah. It chooses one thing next randomly. Like, first it starts with, for example, Blackhawk. Then it chooses a completely random weapon anywhere here. And then I have to work to unlock it, which you do by playing games in a... I'll show the progress bar fill up. So right now I'm currently I would be unlocking the a rare weapon. And then here are your ultra rare ones. Yep. I'm psyched that this is common in um uh our version of Warface in Russian it was super rare. Okay, and then nope. Then we have outfit, same exact thing I was telling you about. So you can see I unlocked this and that's why. You can see in the shop, I still have to buy it and then still repair it. And then here's equipment, which is a smart move to unlock all this first. So you have your sights, grips, silencers, bipods, bayonets. I want to have my pistol. Um, yeah, and a grenade launcher, oh god. Um, anyways, then you have your challenges, and these are kind of good, kind of bad, because it's kind of hard to tell what, you can't tell what picture you get by doing whatever. You can just tell, the nice thing is to tell you the closest thing you are to getting. For example, for me, just rank up one more time, I get a new Mark, here are your badges, these are cool, and then here are your backgrounds. So you can just do this by doing various stuff in the game. Um, if you guys don't know, there's a, not so cool, but whatever, a little feature in this game where you go straight to your safe house super quick, run around. Ooh, time to show off the katana, I just wasted 39,000 dollars worth. But again, I'm not going to be really spending money anytime soon where it matters. So, I'll just kind of walk you through here. Yeah. A little shooting range. There's a basketball, I believe, somewhere. Oh, yeah, you can't. You gotta find it now. I mean, I don't know. If you like to be all alone and stuff, I guess this is the place for you. This is just boring, in my opinion. There's nothing that you can really do. Wow, you need someone's help. To... Okay, you can only be in your safe house by yourself. You can't be there with anybody. And I believe that's pretty much it. Oh, I can't even get under there. Oh, wait a sec. You gotta slide. If you know about a sliding mechanic. Yeah. That's it. So that's the safe house. Um, there's really not much more to show off. 
let me just see if I've missed anything. Otherwise, I believe that will be it in my what became my patch to my game show off video. Not sure what I call it just yet. But yep. So we just had our July patch. Let me see if we had any changes. So again, that katana is in the shop for two weeks. So if you want it, make sure you buy it. Because I'm too cool. <laughs> Oh, so remember some of these weapons I showed off? Apparently these are in the shop for two weeks as well, meaning the F. Shops and vendors. Let me see if we can find it through there. Are they really added in here? I don't know, but the F-1000, the Rafka, the QB's U-88 Sniper, Pile Driver, the Micro Uzi, the Melee Hiccups, and the Frontline Vest. Those are staying in shop for two weeks. Flashbang 2 was removed. Fuck! They removed the M16A2 LMG from the shop? And the STC Richmond M4 Super 90. Fuck. Are they taking weapons out? Shit. I'll be pissed because then that kind of be an incentive to buy them. Oh, goodness, yeah. Well, I guess you got to be careful because they will remove weapons. Just seeing if there's any other things. So, that's pretty much it. Um, the... I don't quite remember when this was added to Steam, but this is essentially open beta ever since then. So, um, if you guys do want to play this game, which I'll show some gameplay of soon with that sniper rifle I just got for 7 hours. It's on Steam, so make sure you sign up. Um, this has been David, and this has been an overly long patch notes turned into game show off video because it has hit open beta, so hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry if I was ranting for a little, but 